Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Diecast Racing fans to the Great White North, home of some dumb policy makers, but we've got some great rodents. It is Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds getting ready to bring you the next Stone Road Open Finals. Yeah, this is the final four. These are the top four vehicles that have made it to the top of the crop out of an 18 car field. And it took a long time to get here, folks. Here's Dusty Miles in the suspension special. James Ironbeard throwing down at that perfectly built truck. Speedball Herman, lots of experience racing there. And then Numb Skull somehow making that big Dodge 200, making it down. There's the time from the semifinals that got our last four drivers here. And there there is different rules for the finals. Get to the bottom the fastest and you've got two tries. That's it, folks. Also tonight, we've got the winner for the beauty contest voted by you over on the main page. So there you have it. Let's get this going. It's the Stone Road Open Final. Right, right, right. 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 James Ironbeard is kicking us off tonight in that big 87 Toyota Hilux with all the paint job and decals. This thing's beautiful. There he is. He's off. He's bouncing around. He's getting down there. He's going fast. He's going to get the cameraman to catch up, and he flips it at the end. It doesn't matter because he came by with one of the fastest times we've seen in this tournament yet. That's a 5.43. That's pretty decent coming down there on the first run. He was jacked to get down there. Everybody's ready to do this tonight. Oh, yeah, folks, that is spinning wheel action flipped over 24 centimeter bonus distance out the end for James Ironbeard and that Hilux. Look at that thing. Beaver works. Igloo replay. Slow mo coming down. He's up on top of the rocks, bouncing around, throwing rocks everywhere. And then he just starts putting the throttle to it. Great lines through the logs. Didn't even feel it by that point and just didn't care. That's one of those selfless throwovers on the line. Great stuff. 5.43 and 24 centimeters. Nice. Right, right, two. two. All right, Numbskull in that great big Dodge D200. He's Jack right up there laying down some fast times in that, and then it gets crazy sometimes. See how he does now. He's off. He's up on top of the rocks. He's rolling around. He's going faster. He's coming into the lawns. He's rolled. He's all over the place. He is off the track. It looks like he is down into the crowd. That's not any good at all, folks. Looks like we got some people maybe even trapped underneath the truck there. We're not looking sure. We need to uh, get a look at that. There's the uh, top down bottom up cannon there he is he's right over like some people jumped out of the way we got the crews right there on top of that one make sure that the uh crowd and the spectators are going to be okay on that one folks and of course numbskull you uh Driver safety is a big deal around here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Checking out the replay. Slow mo, see what happened there. He has been off and on with this truck. Sometimes it's really fast, sometimes it's really crazy and does some different stuff. And that was one of those instances. Looks like he got speared on one of the logs coming into that pile and just off. And I can't tell if some people bumped out of the way there or actually dove. Either way, it looks like everybody's going to be okay. Numbskull, the DNF, and no measurement. Run right, right, three. three. Dusty Miles getting ready for his finals run in this clever suspension system he came up with in this big old F-250. Here he goes. He's off, and he's way up there bouncing around. You see that suspension traveling. It's going good to the logs. He's over. He's done. He's way out the other side. That was a nice run. Comes out with a 6.02. Not as fast as what he had done before in that truck. Might have got slowed up in the deep stuff a little bit. Bouncing around and doing his thing, but still makes it look excellent in one of the most radical backyard suspension systems we got 26 centimeters in the bonus distance for that big ford dusty miles he came into this tournament and everybody just freaked out when they saw that he was so fast it's still fast it's stable he's bouncing around there it is right there he caught an edge coming in the deep stuff the logs tried to fight him he still plowed right through it all out the other side first run for dusty miles in the finals and that's going to net him a 6.02 and 26 centimeters. 
Ride by four. Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing going to take that big old Jeep Wrangler. It's got some weight in the bottom. He's got some polished axles. He's flying. It's going down. He's going fast. He's getting good speed through the locks. 5.69 time out the end. That's the kind of times you want to rip. You want to compete in the finals, folks. And he's doing a great job there. Look at that. Top down, bottom up. Can he bouncing around? Doing what he can to hold that thing stable when he gets over top of the line and does a nice job there. Pulls a nice Nice sweet time and 23.5 bonus distance out the other side. Checking out the Igloo replay, Speedball Herman. Gravity Throttle Racing, that is a channel you definitely have to go check out, folks. Look at that. He's on top of it, bouncing around. That's what you got to do to get the speed. You got to float on top of those rocks, not sink in. Pick a good line over top of those logs. And over top at the end, into the sand trap. Nice job. 5.69 time and 23.5 centimeters. That's going to wrap up round number one. James Ironbeard with a 5.43 time is your leader so far. Speedball Herman coming in with a 5.69. 6.02. Dusty Miles is the closest and Numbskull wiped out. So he doesn't even get a distance on that run. There's that wheelie big wagon we sent down for the wheelie big race at 9.05. It made it back, and it looks awesome, folks. Beaverworks International, we've got Manchild Motorsports doing the mini truck madness event down there. Beaverworks had that build, and there he is there checking it out. So we're doing their race. We got in on it good, and then uh, we had a little mishap that might or might not have had some casualties down there. We have to go check out the rest of the race to see what was going on over at Manchild Motorsports. There are links in the description. Then we're down to Rick Diecast Racing and Custom Carnage 2. Checking it out. We sent down that Mustang with all the weight and all the paint job. Looks excellent for out of the race shop and again had some kind of issues on our runs and that car got launched off into the abyss off the track. Go down there Rick's Diecast Racing Custom Carnage 2. Check out the rest. Don't forget that you can grab that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and there's even a super thanks. We'd love it. Right by five. All right, moving on to some round two action. James Ironbeard's going to be leading it off. He had an excellent run the first time. Let's see how he does this time. He's on top of it. He's gone. He's gotten good speed again. This time over top of the logs. 5.69. Not quite as fast as the first run. Actually, I think that's tied for second place, but he's still got the top run in the first round. And that's going to count as overall at the end. And checking that out. Top down, bottom up. Cam right up to the end. He's going to have an excellent uh, bonus distance of 29 centimeters that's excellent for that Toyota Hilux James Ironbeard made that thing look excellent it performs excellent it is a good build there's extra weight there's some work on the axles for sure and then he hit it nice all right over top of the line slow mo and then right up to the end James Ironbeard second round pulling off a 5.69 29 centimeters. Run, 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 six. Six. Numbskull getting ready to take his second run for the finals in that ginormous Dodge D200. You can tell he's got some work done inside there as well. Great paint and he's off. This thing is crazy going down there. No! He's over on his lid again. Not exactly stable in that great big huge long wheelbase truck and it's like rolling the dice and he didn't get it on that round again. Full send for sure and sometimes it was just a little too much send on that one. And the first one, that's getting a DNF in both rounds. And yeah, we got the emergency crews on top of that, making sure he is okay. They're saying he's coming around the 130 centimeter mark, somewhere in there. Anyways, Igloo Replay, checking it out. He just keeps on riding that inside wall and then comes back and hits the, looks like the guardrail post again. He had a problem with that in the first round and that ended up getting him on his lid again. DNF in 102 centimeters. Run, Run seven. seven. Dusty Miles getting ready for his second run in the finals, and this is his last chance to get a better time than James Ironbeard in that first round, and here he goes. He's letting it all hang out. It's full blast. He's down on top of the logs. He's coming through to 5.89, hits the rock, and flips it over after the line. 
there it is, folks. That was that suspension special that came out of Dusty Miles from Milestone Racing. And look at that thing bouncing around. He is giving it everything hit has got there at the end and comes out with a 5.89 and 17.5 centimeter bonus distance after he bounced it off that rock. And you can see that suspension boinging around after he uh, came off of that impact. Coming down, here it is in the slow-mo, still throwing rocks, still getting a good line. He's going back and forth. He looks like he tried to take some logs with him, gets out the other end, and then it just smacks that rock right there. There it is, 5.89 and 17.5 centimeters. Right on eight. Here we go, Speedball Herman for the last run of the Stone Road Open, and this is the last chance anybody's got to catch up to James Ironbeard. Here he goes, he's going to have to push it, and he is, he's flying, there's almost some air back there, and he is over top of the line and over with a 5.89. That was still a fast run, and he was definitely giving her all the way down, just throwing everything he got at it for the finals at the Stone Road, because that is what you just got to do around here, folks. Right there, you can see me bouncing, He's getting her done over top of the line at the bottom in the trap with a 21 centimeter bonus distance out the end. There it is, catching up with some igloo replay. Speedball Herman coming down in that Jeep Wrangler and putting a great run on. Look at that. Big air right there, definitely on top of it. Gets slowed up in the deep stuff a little bit, comes through the logs, no problem, and little too much speed out the end, puts it over on the side, doesn't matter. 5.89 and 21 centimeters for Speedball Herman on the final round. All right, so that's going to bring second round is going to be going to James Ironbeard again with a 5.69 in the second round. Overall results for the Stone Road Open, James Ironbeard, 5.43. That's the fastest time we had out of all of the participants in the Stone Road Open. Beaverworks first mail-in event. Speedball Herman's coming in with second place. Dusty Miles third. Numbskull fourth so there he is folks it's going to be james ironbeard is the winner of the first beaverworks mail-in event the stone road open look at that thing we had 18 contestants started you needed to have stamina you needed to have speed you needed to be able to keep it going round after round and that's what james ironbeard was able to pull off for this tournament folks and what an awesome job he did great build done by iron beard customs on that toyota hilux Second place is going to go over to Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing. And then we have Dusty Miles from Milestone racing with that amazing suspension Ford he brought with him. And that thing was tough to beat. Numsco was able to make it into the finals with some fast runs and then just couldn't hold it together there. But he did participate in the beauty contest. And the winner, after all you folks have voted, is going to be... James Ironbeard, so he might as well just stay up there on the podium because he's getting both the prizes out of this run. And for the bottom nine vehicles, we have got something special planned for all you guys. Before you're going to make it out of here, you get to go down the pebble path and we can see if we can squeeze some glory out of your vehicles yet, folks. 18 started and we made it all the way down to one. James Ironbeard, look at that. He is the first Stone Road Open winner at the Igloo Proving Grounds. We also had Speedball Herman from Gravity Throttle Racing, Dusty Miles from Milestone Racing, and Numbskull from Numbskull Racing. Oh, rounding out the top four from this first mail-in tournament and we loved it. We hope you all loved it too and all of the participants that mailed their vehicles in. Thank you for doing that. That was great fun meeting you all. All right. Don't forget that you can still subscribe and like and there's super thanks and all sorts of social media we got going on out there. Most of all, thanks to all you good people for keep coming back here watching our stuff. We wouldn't do it without you. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds, we will see you next time.